going on, everybody out there on the internet? My name is Fred Angel, and welcome back to more DC Universe Online. We're back with my very ugly helmet on. Yeah, so I, I picked up this helmet at some point, I guess, this style. It's a very ugly helmet, but I'm going to wear it for now just to switch it up. I only have, like, three helmets, but don't worry. By the time we're, like, really high combat rating, man, we're going to have, like, a bajillion helmets to choose from. I guess I could go no helmet, but I want a helmet on, and you know what? It's ugly, so let's be ugly for a little bit, you know? Why not? Give love to the ugly people. So what were we going to do? I, I have not recorded for about a week. Well, it might have been, yeah, about a week. At least for me. For you guys, it won't seem like that, but... Oh, well, maybe it has. I don't know. Um, what were we gonna do? We had to, let's see our journal really quick. I kind of forgot what we we're gonna do. So out in the street, travel to the K. Okay, the Bane mission. I remember that. Or we could do our deed. We could go get our house, see our house really quick. I think I was gonna do that, wasn't I? Wasn't I gonna do that? I'm gonna do that. We choose that one. Yeah. There you go. Now, when you use your deed, it will grant you access to a base and allow you to choose a location in Metropolis or Gotham for the entrance. Give it a go. Okay, let's use our deed. I want to be in Gotham, please. So, we have 955 cash, so we have to get one of these 750 areas. Ooh. A 525 area? I'm going to go with that one just because I want right. to... Alright, head to your base now and we'll take a little tour. Would you like to enter your base now? Yes, I would. So yeah, bases, as I said in the last video, uh, it's your own little hideout. Your own superhero or villain hideout where you can, well, she'll explain this it. This is your mainframe, the nerve center of your lair. You can use it to gain access to powerful tools like orbital strikes, backup reinforcements, and powerful equipment mods. Your mainframe's power is maintained here as well, so be sure to keep it up so you can have access to more powerful features. This is your dispenser, where you'll retrieve the items that you've selected in the mainframe, such as communicators for your backup and orbital strikes. Finally, this is your base's control panel. It's used to enter decoration mode, alter some of the colors of your base, and for other utility purposes. All right. So let's turn that in really That's quick. That's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to owning and operating your base. Let's get started on placing some base items. I've given you a few things. Check your inventory and collect the base items. All right. Uh, inventory. We got a table. Yes. A lantern. Yep, sure. And a clock. Nice. Now that you've added the base items to your base inventory, use the control panel to enter decorator mode. Oh, wait. That's... This is the control panel. Okay. While in decorator mode, you can place your items at the appropriate markers. While most base items are cosmetic, there are amenities you can acquire that have very specific functions like bank, mail, and broker access. However, amenities can only be placed at specific markers. Once you've filled up enough markers, you will unlock free placement mode and be able to place base items almost anywhere. So, that about wraps it up. I'm sure you'll uncover even more interesting things about your base. Good luck. And don't forget to try placing those items. Oracle out. All right. Let's go ahead and turn that one in. I love lamp. Nice. That's an old reference. Okay. So, yes. There you go, guys. So, this is the freebie base. So, if you're like a free player or whatever, you get this base here. It's a really small one, but you get bigger ones as you play. And uh, like she said, you get items from bosses, just world, you know, bosses, raids, alerts, whatever. You, just random drops. Or you can buy them on the auction house, which we haven't really explained what that is. Um, but you can get them from there. You can get them um, from the in-game marketplace. There's multiple, multiple places to get items that you can place in here. Wait, what's that? Your armory. Oh. Oh, get a free armory. Use your ar Okay. So apparently we're not done yet. Boom. Got an armory. All right. Right on. Lock and load. Place your armory in the base and use it to imprint a new build. Okay. All right. So now the base is used for, again, it's for your own personalized kind of hub area where you can kind of 
be by yourself and decorate it at your will. It's kind of like your little house. Uh, your friends can enter here. Um, and then you can, to decorate it, you come over to the control panel. You entered your decoration mode. And now you can decorate it however you want. So see these little circles here. If you press on the circles, you're supposed to, uh, what is it? Place item. Okay, so if you press X, you should be able to see all your stuff. Oh, wait, I don't have anyone for the purple. Okay, I think the purple circles are for special items that I don't have yet. Yeah, I was right. All right, so we have a clock, and you can... I think you can change the color, right? Or Oh, no, okay, that's to rotate it. I'm pretty sure you can make it bigger, right? There's, like, a way to make it bigger. Man, I really suck at this. All right, so we're going to put the... Oh my goodness, my my mouse sensitivity is so high, or my controller sensitivity is so high. I'm just gonna just gonna place it there. There we go. All right, and, it, and then we have like one lamp, one hanging lamp. Place that there. All right, we don't have a whole lot of items right now. We'll get more as we play, obviously. We have a coffee table. Wow, that's like a very uh, like Japanese. It's like a Japanese table. All right, so the armor, the armory, we want to place. We don't want to place it like in the middle of the room. At least I don't. I'm gonna place it right here in the corner. Yeah, there we go. I just need to rotate it. Oh my goodness, there we go. Rotate and place. Perfect. Okay. So how do I? Okay, get out of the like that. We should re we should name our base to rename. Uh. Angel's Paradise. And I think you guys can actually look this up and find it, I think, maybe. Wait, invalid base name. We'll just call it Angel. Is that all right? You're okay. So if you ha I think if you add me as a friend, I do play on PC. Um if you add me as a friend, if you're on PC obviously. Steam or uh, just the base game from the website. I think you can add me and then you can join. You can kind of come into my base, I think. Imprint. Okay, so the armory, it looks like it's not going to... Sure, we'll just imprint all, whatever. That works. Whoa, dude, yeah. We look really ugly, but... <laughs> Go to the generator and use it to equip a build. Okay. Sure, yeah, we'll go to that one. Why not? Okay. All right. So, that right there, the armory. So, in this game, as you can see, there's... You're going to get a lot of, uh, like... If you go to your inventory, over the course of the game, you're going to... You're going to play, you know, either tank, healer, controller, DPS, or you might want to switch between them, or you might build a certain way, like you, maybe you're going to be a a weapon damage person or a power, a power um, a, like an ability damage person instead. Um, to optimize your damage for the whatever, whatever kind of role you're wanting to play, you have to have specific gear. So... You're going to have a lot of different pieces of gear and different loadouts and different abilities and different weapons. And it's going to, you know, it's annoying to try to do that on your own and kind of keep all that organized. So what the armory is for is say you're playing, say you're playing, you know, you're geared up as a tank. You have tank gear on and your, your you know, your abilities are set to be a tank. But you're like, ah, I want to do damage for a little bit. I want to go over and do some, do some damage instead. But I don't want to go throughout my bank and my inventory to try to find all the right pieces that I had saved and whatnot to switch over. Well, you can come into the armory and imprint your tank settings and your damage settings. You can imprint it here so that you go over to the generator and you just choose your tank build, whatever you named it. You know, can't die or whatever, whatever you name it. You come over here and you can just switch really quick that way instead of having to do all this extra stuff um, and then the, the generator also has um, cells you can upgrade your uh, you can upgrade your armor or your generator sorry and uh, that gives that unlocks like extra stuff I think it only has to do with mods now there are some mods I don't remember what you get mods from I think they um, they randomly drop 
and you can actually increase when you get a um, when you get a mod which drop off of they just drop in game from ra you know various sources you can um, come over here and put them you know in your health and power your support attribute you know whatever so generator increases your character's uh, power level eventually and then the main frame you can come over here and get special abilities um, like sidekick supplies your base dispenser with various uplink devices that will summon a sidekick to attack your enemies so yeah there's like more moves here you can get a sidekick back up orbital strike supply drop and tactical mobs and then you can get some like boost i think that it just makes it str makes your whatever a little stronger um permissions so we can and then this is just the set permissions you allow base access to your league or your player whichever and that is pretty much the base again we're pretty bare bones we have a very small base but as we play you know we'll get a bigger base and more items so anyways so um i'm tr i'm gonna go see if something's up right now Ooh, the vault is up all right so the vault i think this i don't remember what level it unlocks i think it might be nine ish or five um but it might be 10 too i don't i don't remember what level it unlocks but if you come over here to your on duty tab and you go to one player there's something called the vault and you can add it to your scenario and queue up for it and what the vault is is well i think it's a weekly thing for free players and if you are a subscriber you can go every day once a day and you come in here Welcome, welcome, one and all, to Joker's Room of Fun, Mayhem, and Prizes. What will it be? Something to flatten your opponents? Or just some useless crap? Who knows? You pay your money and you take your chances. Break the presents and get your prizes. Yeah, so it's a Joker kind of area. It's really quick. You just come in here and destroy these, um, these Joker boxes. And what they give you, they have a chance. They all give you money. Every everyone gives you, every one of them gives you some sort of cash amount. But they also give you armor, so you can get new appearances. And they can also give you like uh, currency to buy better gear. Um, so this is something you absolutely should That's do. That's it. Game's over. Step along. Step along. Nothing to see. Get go when at all possible. So I think it's, I, I don't know, check every day because they might have changed how it works since the last time I played. But it used to be free players once every week. New player, no, maybe it was three days, but it wasn't every day. But the subscribers, you go every day. And you go in there and it gives you quite a bit of cash. Gives you, um, like, uh, these currencies here to make gear. I think it's like crafting stuff and it gives you styles of course that you can use to make your character look better. They're not going to give you stats but they, they just give you appearances which uh, we got some wings. I want to see those wings man. Uh, Where's that? Small demonic wings. Heck yeah dude. I'm not going to wear those because those are really ugly but <laughs> and they don't fit how I want my character to look. Um sharpshooter I don't, eh, I, don't, I don't I don't like the sharpshooter I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go with all antifreeze maybe the helmet is antifreeze too all right so yeah that's what I wanted to show you guys really quick but um so we're gonna go do this explore Wayne legacy really quick and then I think next video we're gonna queue for the area 51 which will be our first alert which has to do with the moon man we're going to the moon and then we will get over and uh, we will take out Bane when possible. Why is my 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 controller sensitivity keeps going really freaking high and it's getting hard to control? And I don't know why. But yeah, I've missed this game. I'm so glad to be back on it. I really needed I I really needed that two year break from this game. I think because it. Uh, you know, I'm not, like, super experienced with the game. I haven't done, like, every in-game thing, but I've played a lot of this game, and I needed that break. It feels really new. It's almost like I haven't played it yet. Obviously, I remember some things, but uh, not all of it. 
So we are pretty far away from our goal, actually. I should have just fast traveled. Now, you can fast travel, but you can only fast travel to certain bases. There's not like, there's not like zones you can really go to. You can just open up your map. If you go to the map, you can go and you get one warp, I think. Yeah, you can choose Watchtower, Rally Point, or your base. But you used to be able to go to your closest uh, hideout. Oh, because that's the Rally Point. Okay, the ra <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the Rally Point from the warp menu, that is your like a respawn place but I anyways so yeah you can't like fast travel wherever you want but you can you know if you are not wanting to run very far man <laughs> gotta sneeze man probably gonna forget to edit all that out sneezes are very loud mics microphones do not like sneezes really guys that is one thing that I do find annoying this game which I understand why they did it but Ooh, hang on, a briefing. I'll say it, I'll say what I have to say after this. This is Gotham Now, and I'm Vicki Vale. The menace known only as Brainiac has attacked our planet and bottled up our cities. He's leveling entire neighborhoods in his quest to regain the Exobites. Luckily, a whole new generation has risen to fight this menace. Some led by our own Batman and, believe it or not, the Joker. These are our best hope against the alien menace. Uh, yeah, so... As I was saying, before I got interrupted, uh, the only thing annoying is that when you are running with your speed, whether it be flight, agility, or super speed, and you get hit by a monster, you slow down tremendously. And I understand why it's there, so you can't just run from conflicts, but it's still annoying because you get in that groove where you're going fast and all of a sudden something... This is the original Wayne Enterprises building. The company was founded in the 17th century, and the construction of this building in the 1800s marked the beginning of the, um, beginning for the world's largest multinational conglomerates. Many people in the East End have Wayne Enterprises to thank for improving their lives. Thanks, Wayne Tech, for improving my life. Which, where is it at? Where is it at? Wait, it was just there in front. Oh, there it is. The Wayne Tech Building, there it is. Where Bruce Wayne, aka Batman, does his business from the Bruce side. Not the Batman business, but run, run. the Wayne business. Which, I like these missions. Like, if you're not a huge DC fan and you don't know a lot of about DC, and you wanna know about the locations in Metropolis, in Gotham, these are these are good missions to do. It's quick and easy. You just come up to a little kiosk and Booster Gold tells you about there it. There are places in Gotham's East End where even Booster Gold fears to tread because they're creepy and dangerous. Worst is Crime Alley. Once an upper class area known as Park Row, Crime Alley got its name for the murder of Thomas and Martha Wayne, two of Gotham's most prominent philanthropists. Their deaths mark Gotham's slide into tragedy and despair. See, like that, that is cool. Well, not cool that, you know, Batman's parents died, but this is where it all began, man. Where Batman's, where Batman started. I think, it, yep, right here. And we got a feat. Visit the Wayne Memorial in Crime Alley. And Batman's still leaving roses. Still leaving roses. This is right where that, right where it happened. See, and that's like, that's just cool stuff you know if you're rushing through the game you might miss and you're like ah, I don't want to do these missions but hey they're interesting okay exo material times two all right let's go ahead and get this last one over with God of Asgard. Nice name. Founded by Dr. Leslie Tompkins, the East End Free Clinic offers health care to anyone who seeks it, including known criminals. It operates under a strict no-violence policy, respected by even Gotham's most hostile psychopaths. Here, there is always someone who wants to help. This Booster Gold endorsement was provided free of charge. All right. 
So now, after you do them, please don't hit me. Oh, he hit me. Dang it. Dang it. Hang on, I'm just gonna, just gonna teleport my way across. I love this move, man. Oh, I don't know what the range on it though is. It didn't work on the guy. It like one shots them too. I mean, they're I'm over leveled to them, but still, still freaking awesome. All right, all right, it's still pretty freaking cool, dude. All right, so yeah, the, all you do is you go to those kiosks. Booster tells you some lore about some areas, gives you the backstory, and you get you get free XP, man. All right, it's really chill, homie. <laughs> it's very chill. And then you turn it on. Gotham's in. East End has seen more than its share of tragedy. To those who work tirelessly to bring hope back to this troubled area, I award an official Booster Gold Gold Star of Excellence that I just now created. This is history in the making, people. You'll tell your grandchildren about this one day. All right. Then you just turn it in. Hey, complete 25 missions, 10 points. 10 points for Gryffindor. All right, so uh, did we get a f skill point yet? How close are we? The green bar, we're pretty close. We're pr pretty close to a free one. Oh, he's got another one. Another one? Well, don't mind if I do. I wish you'd give Hi, him I'm Booster all Gold, at once. And but... this is the Booster Gold Exploration Adventure Series. In this adventure, we return to Gotham's notorious East End to discover its rich history and hopefully avoid being mugged. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, but you never know. All right, yeah, we'll do this one too. Why not? Why not? They're they're quick, you know. I can't. They're not very entertaining, maybe for the viewers. But hey, uh oh, there's some villains. So if you ever see a person with a red name like that, it means they're a villain. They're a bad, bad man, bad mamajama. But we did get ring a ring for that. No, it's not. Oh, because we don't have a ring on, so you can have two rings. So we got a whole bunch of stuff for that. We're gonna go with this one. Explore, where's this one at? I like that they added these quest, like how far the quests are from you. Cause it used to be you just keep running and running and running until you you get, you know, you you just kind of have to guess if you're there or not. Or just use, you know, your brain to figure out if you're there. But now it tells you and it gives you a location, the exact location, which is, I like that. Gotham's East End was once one of the wealthiest areas of the city, but it is now a sad monument to that distant past. The buildings are the same, but are now in a state of ruin and filled with the hopeless poor. Only those with little regard for their own life dare to walk these crime-ridden streets. Dang, dude. Okay. Let's go to this one. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. I need to get these over with, man. I'm, I'm ready to do a, do Area this 51. This is the Cape Carmine Lighthouse, a beacon of light in the midst of gloomy waters. The lighthouse is a well-known landmark in Gotham, though few have ever stepped foot inside. I suggested that they convert the light into a booster gold signal, but they weren't interested. Would anybody be interested in that? Who, honestly, is there anybody out there on this planet whose favorite hero is booster gold? Honestly, and if it is, why? Bane is back in Gotham. He uses venom to fuel his immense strength and brutality. And now his gang is selling the stuff all over the East End. Venom's a short-lasting steroid, not your typical street drug. Take some samples for analysis and get that venom off the streets. Whoops, we activated our Wait, Bane quest mission. If Didn't you're to looking to import illicit goods into Gotham, this is where you would do it, at Old Gotham Harbor. Shipping continues, but regulation is absent and corruption is rampant. Not a place that I, Booster Gold, can endorse. I only work with legitimate businesses, such as Bibbo's. You'll love their buns. You're not gonna get to this stuff. <laughs> you love their buns. And we'll love your buns, too. Boost. Wait, what? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap that up here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. More of a, a more casual episode, or if you will. Not a very uh, exciting episode. But uh, you know what? That's, that's going to happen when you play MMOs. All right? It's going to happen every now and again. 
when you decide to do MMOs as your main let's play genre. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to here. And when we come back, we're going to go do some Area 51. Go to the moon, man. Peace out. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, leave a like. And make sure to share it around the internet and worldwide. You can check out my Patreon links in the description and on the screen now. Don't forget to come by our Discord and say hello to everybody. And last but not least, make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Peace out.